Berosus wrote that its location was such that common people could visit. Egyptian historian Hieronymus mentions the Josephus Ark. wrote of the vessel in 50 AD. Prince Nuri declared that he walked within its walls. In 1916, Russian aviator Vladimir Roskovitsky described how he saw the Ark while on a flight over Mount Ararat. Even Marco Polo wrote about the Ark's presence on Ararat in 1269. The American spy plane, the U-2, was making its global reconnaissance missions. Many of the flights passed over Ararat, and a number of pilots reported seeing what looked like a ship locked in the ice below. H. Danby Seymour reached the peak in 1846. Bertie Kotko of the Russian army climbed in 1850. Englishman Major Robert Stewart made it in 1856. If we don't go, we won't know. Somebody has to take up the challenge. The quest to find the ark starts with my faith. It started with a calling. When I was 17 years old, will you join me on this quest? When I was 37 years old, when are you gonna come and join me on this quest? Every step up that mountain when I thought, I don't know that I could endure this, was I'm with you. I wanna give you a, I wanna give you a idea about the conditions up here. It's just uh, horrible conditions. Uh, the worst I've ever been in. So my faith was built stronger because I have seen God's faithfulness to me in these situations. With the Kurdish men, it's some of the closest friendships I've got. I mean, when you go through what we've gone through together, You have given up your food so somebody else can eat. It does something to you to make you close. Hi, my brother. How are you doing? Good to see you, Adam. Adam, how are you doing, man? How are you doing? I'd love to find the ark so that Christianity could can have another piece of great evidence to say, you know, the Bible is true. I'll never regret being able to say, I've been there, I've done that. I stood up there on the mountain. I've looked for Noah's Ark. We're about to go exploring and try to get the gorge as far as we can. Here we go. Climbing. some crevasses here. I think if we go left, we'll be better. This is a place that very few people have ever been. This is a place where civilization started again. And it was, you know, just chills were all over me. No dream is impossible. If you want it and you feel called to it, go do it. Nothing's too big, nothing's impossible. Just keep taking one step forward.